Now to a CBS 4 News investigation, and the Food and Drug Administration is taking a South Florida stem cell clinic to court after several patients were left blinded or with significant vision loss due to treatment at a facility as part of clinical trials. The FDA claims in a lawsuit that U.S. stem cell in Sunrise is experimenting on patients with adulterated drugs and refuses to obey the law. CBS 4's Carrie Codd investigates. Janine Millard says she flew from her home in France to South Florida in 2015 to get treatments for macular degeneration. I could not uh, wait doing nothing. Millard says she came to this clinic in Cooper City to be treated by Kristen Camella and Dr. Shireen Greenbaum. Millard paid several thousand dollars to participate in a clinical trial run by a company called BioHard, the precursor to U.S. stem cell. Clinical trials can be inherently risky. They said the, the worst that could happen that uh, there, there would be no effect. So um, I can imagine the, what happened next. What happened next, according to Millard and her attorney, Andrew Yaffa, is a cautionary tale. Immediately after the procedure, Millard began to experience inflammation and pain. According to the attorney, the procedure seen in this video from U.S. stem cell involved taking Millard's stem cells from her fat tissue, treating the stem cells, and injecting them directly into her right eyeball and behind her left eyeball. Millard said Greenbaum reassured her about the pain she was having. She said it's just inflammation. It will not uh, last. It's, it's normal. But it wasn't normal. Millard is now blind in her right eye, and she suffered significant vision loss in her left eye. Her right eye is noticeably shrinking. It's becoming smaller, so small that it's, it's dead now. And Millard is not alone. Court records show that her attorney sued on behalf of two other women who underwent similar procedures at U.S. Stem Cell. Those court records and some medical journal reports indicate that those two other women also experienced similar significant vision problems. And court documents show that in those cases, the parties settled their claims. Attorney Andrew Yaffa says U.S. stem cell preyed on Millard. This is human experimentation, and they're exploiting patients that are so desperate and vulnerable. They're looking for any hope at all. And now the Food and Drug Administration is taking action. The agency sent Kristen Camella at U.S. Stem Cell this warning letter last year, saying the procedures the clinic is doing need to be regulated by the FDA like a drug. But in a series of online videos and speeches, Kristen Camella makes it clear she disagrees with the FDA. And it would be a mistake to limit these therapies from patients who desperately need them. The FDA is moving forward, though. Last month, they filed a lawsuit to have U.S. Stem Cell stop marketing stem cell therapies that do not have FDA approval. The lawsuit says an injunction is necessary to prevent defendants from experimenting on patients with adulterated and misbranded drugs. This is our clinic. In a speech on stem cells, Camella showed pictures of the clinic. The state of Florida does not list Camella as a medical professional. Her online bio says she has advanced degrees in chemical engineering and stem cell biology. In a series of online videos, she pitched stem cell therapies as a wonder cure and spoke of numerous success stories. We've had patients who were unable to speak now speaking full sentences and telling us about the day that they were injured. But in her speeches, there was little discussion of patients like Janine Millard, who suffered serious eye damage. So we tracked Camilla down in Weston to ask her about it. And these poor women cannot see. They have significant vision loss, and they trusted the clinic to do the work for them. Nothing to say to that? She didn't want to comment, citing an ongoing lawsuit from Millard. In fact, Camella didn't want to talk about much, including the FDA lawsuit and the clinic's work. So you don't want to answer these questions about the clinic and the work that's being done there, whether it's safe? Um, I'm going to ask you to meet with our PR people and continue to reach out to them for additional comments. And I'm going to ask you to turn the camera off. This small local, localized bleeding is not normal. Dr. Thomas Albini at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute treated Millard and co-authored a paper on three other patients from U.S. stem cell that sustained permanent eye damage from the stem cell procedure. He believes much more study needs to be done before performing these treatments on people. I think it's really wrong to offer these types of therapies to people when they're very dangerous and people aren't aware of the risks involved. Janine Millard says she learned of the U.S. stem cell clinic through this clinical trial posted on the National Institutes of Health website. Millard believed that gave the trial legitimacy. There is a disclaimer on the site that the trials listed have not been vetted by the government, but Millard still believes it's wrong for it to be posted on a government website. What makes me really angry is to find this on the National Institute of Health. 
how can be list, this listed on on such uh, official site website? That's I still don't understand that. Now, Dr. Albini from Bascom Palmer says if you enroll in a clinical trial, you almost never have to pay for it. He explained that it's seen as a conflict of interest in the medical field to have to pay to be in a medical trial. Now, on their website, U.S. Stem Cell here in Sunrise says they plan to vigorously defend themselves against the FDA lawsuit. Also, we should mention we reached out numerous times to contact Dr. Shireen Greenbaum, who we mentioned in the piece, but she did not get back with us. All right, Carrie, that is an amazing story. What advice do experts and the FDA offer for people thinking of undergoing stem cell therapy? Well, the FDA suggests that if your medical professional or doctor recommends you have a stem cell procedure, that you ask them if the FDA has approved that procedure. The FDA also says in a recent warning that they put out on their website that stem cell therapies may indeed one day be used to treat a number of diseases and different medical conditions, but the FDA believes that that day is not here just yet. You can read a lot more about this case on our website at cbsmiami.com. Live in Sunrise, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.